All right, we're gonna go for a full throw. With the wall tap entry. Oh, we almost had that. That was, that would have been sweet. Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on BMNG, staring at a uh, rally cross car or asphalt race car, whatever you want to call it. Here on BMNG, because we're gonna be ripping it through some roads. Because what's BMNG without some crashing? But we're also going to end the game off where we always end on this channel. And that's drifting because we do have a Toyota Corolla. So we do have an 8.6 in here. And also a big thank you to one of the subscribers of the channel hooking me up with some information about... I have a working handbrake now. It doesn't mess with my clutch because I separated my pedals from my base. So make sure you follow me on all social media. Let's get to it. We are in a grip asphalt car. It's sequential, so we have no control of gears, but we're just going to go send it. Because why would we not go and see what we can do? Oh, that's very light. Let's see if we can survive driving. Some fast speeds? Nope. Oh. Um, yeah, we dead. <laughs> we did not make it anywhere as far as we need to, so we're gonna spawn back and try that again. Car is super grippy, super fast, and you know, of course, BMNG is all about the damage. See how far we can get, though. Don't crash again. No, don't crash again. Oh. Gain control. We're good. Woo. That was a bit of a terrifying wobble in this car for sure. But we got this. We don't got this. No. Um, that was our wheel. Our wheel just went bye-bye. Oh, we don't have a... Oh, okay. <clears throat> I definitely need to figure out how to slow down time and things of that nature for the next episode because, well, it's no fun when you don't slow down time. <sighs> yeah. Let's try that again. We're just trying to rip this car as fast as we can. And sequential gearbox. We don't got to shift or anything. We just got to drive it. But we're uh, having some incidences. Top down 130 miles an hour. Spitting flames. We're going to send it. Nope, not yet. This is like a straight shot. We should have had a faster car. This is so easily controllable. I, I could do this one handed. Oh! <laughs> we say that. Oh, that car is mangled. Uh. Yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> so, PNG is definitely fun. But, we're gonna go drift because we got a handbrake, we got a Corolla. We should definitely go try drifting. So, we're gonna switch up tracks and I will catch you guys once we spawn in. So, we are here at a track that should look very familiar to a lot of people. It is Tomata Sportsland. We have the Tofu Delivery Corolla. And we have a handbrake, as you can see. So we can see if the Tofu version drifts pretty well here. Oh, it's a super... Super loose car, but having a handbrake is definitely a huge advantage. Oh, now my tofu will be destroyed. There is a drift version of this car, which we're definitely going to try also today. It's 
car is not, I don't think, meant to go full on sideways. Then again, if Takumi Fujiwara can do it, I can do it here in BMNG. Oh, no, no. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, Tack. We kind of busted the car. So let's switch to the drift version. Maybe I'll have a little better luck with drift version because we got so many different versions of this car. We're going to pull out the drift version. See if maybe that helps. Although this car would definitely be seen here. Oh yeah. This is a fitting car for right now. For right here. I don't think third gear is the way to go. Second gear, maybe. Got the anime going on on the sides. There we go. E-brake able to do way more in the game than we were able to last time. Do you think I need to adjust the force feedback a little bit? It's very soft. Well, we got this now, I think. Ooh. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, just a small wall hit. Let's see if we can't adjust the feedback just a little bit on the car. Tuning. Uh, I wish there was a way to adjust force feedback on this one. I guess there's not. Fail. So let's go to options. Let's go to control. Let's go to force feedback. Click on that. Go on my axis. And let's uh, let's kick it up to about 3:30. We're gonna apply that, and we're going to try. Hopefully, oh. I gotta reload the level because my force feedback decided to cut out and I don't know how to fix that. Notice my FPS drop and the force feedback cuts out. So if you guys know how to fix that, let me know because I'm very curious on how to fix that. Because I wish I knew oh, how to redo it without restarting the whole level. So I guess we're gonna restart it and try it again. All right, a little bit up the force feedback level. Yep, that's a little bit better. I wonder if I could adjust sensitivity to authentic if it changes it. On my Fanatec. Oh. <laughs> okay. Got a boosted Corolla now. Don't hit that. Oh, oh, we didn't need that mirror. Super excited to have my handbrake and everything working here in BeamNG. Ooh, just a wall tap. Dragon bumper. We'd still be sending it after that. Just a bumper, no big deal. Oh, what do we can break now? I feel like we may have broken something else. Car is super soft in the front. We may have to uh, do some fine tweaking. Some is not right. <laughs> we are still having so much fun here on BeamNG. Oh, we almost crashed that again. Drifting in this game definitely is something that takes a little bit of practice. Definitely a very hard game to drift on. That's more than a tail tap. Uh I don't I don't think we can. Oh, 
full missile status? Yeah, nope. We tried it. Yeah, we can't. So let's try another version of this Corolla because why not? We're here. They got a stanced version, a rally version, and a tuned version. Let's go with the stanced version and see what the stanced version's got in store for us. Oh boy. Oh, okay. It's just scraping ground. We're not gonna be able to go anywhere with this. Oh, I think I, oh, no. Oh, God, hit too many buttons. Uh, okay, and we, we, we hit way too many things. We're gonna have to uh, fix that. And we're gonna have to uh, get out of the stanced version of the Corolla. Let's go to the tuned one and see what the tuned one has in store. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, tuned version. Uh, does not like this track. Uh, Jeets. All right, let's try this one. We're trying all different versions. All right, this one actually worked. Just install the engine. This looks like a, almost a bone stock Corolla. Somebody let me borrow their oh their stock Corolla and bring it out here to Tomata. And we can't even get this thing sideways. All right, we're gonna go for a full throw. With the wall tap entry? Oh, we almost had that. That was, that would have been sweet. So the Corolla, definitely a lot of fun. The drift one is definitely probably my favorite one so far. But there is a car that I've found that I absolutely love right now. And that is right here. The Grand Marshall Drift Missile, this car has been slowly become my favorite drift car in the game so far. I don't know if it's the power it has and the response. This has to be almost my favorite drift car so far that I've found. If you guys have other drift cars that are good in the game, let me know down in the comments where I can get them. There we go. Oh, too much of a wall tap. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on BeamNG. A big thank you to the subscriber being able to let me know. He, you know, without his knowledge, let me know how to fix my handbrake. He said he was using his handbrake and the shifter, or the handbrake and the everything with the pedals on his Thrustmaster. And that just made me split my pedal from my base. Now we have a handbrake. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on BeamNG. And as always, uh, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.